in this video i will show you how to do a horizontal scrolling in wix studio so if you want something like this or if you want to showcase pictures or if you want to present something in horizontal presentation then this tutorial is for you so the very first thing you should do is of course you have to go to your so the first thing you should do is you have to go to your wix studio now if you don't have one then go to wix sign up and create your own account so this is wix studio and the very first thing you should do here is we're going to add section okay so click add section here and basically we're going to add uh, the presentation or horizontal scroll here on uh, the second section so first go to plus or add element and then go to container now what you're going to do is you're going to decrease or adjust this to its size okay like this and then for us to see it easier or visible you can change the color by tapping this and click open inspector go to color change this to color black or something dark okay everything is up to you for me it's gray, something like that now you can change the padding for top you can change this to 150 vh top and then for bottom you could also change this to 150 okay sorry let me do it again 150 vh and then for bottom you could also add 150 vh and then press enter okay so make sure it's 150 vh up or top and then 150 vh bottom okay and then once you have added uh, the padding and there are spaces here then what you're going to do next is adjust the height now for the height of this section you have to leave it as a zero so click this with three dots here toggle this one on and you have to make sure that the height here is none or a zero okay so the the width just leave it so this is what it looks like now this time i'm going to add a shape okay so i'm going to click this plus icon right here and then add shape go to animation and effect go to spin and then here go to direction spin let's just say it's four again okay, i'm going to tap four and then for scale you can let this uh, reach to 100 percent and then also this one 100 percent and then i'm going to show you the preview okay so as you can see if I scroll down or scroll up, then the shape will move. If I stop, then the shape will stop. So basically, this is just a bit of idea that if you're going to move or if you're going to scroll, the images or the, you know, whatever you put here will also move. So go to layout tools. This time we have to go and look for flex boxes. Actually, you can also add grid, but for this tutorial, I strongly or highly prefer that you use a flex boxes in order for you to easily, you know, edit everything here. So let me tap this one again. Go to layout tools, flex boxes, and then click this one. Okay. This is what it looks like. Now, what you're going to do here is you have to change the width. So for the width, you're going to type 100%. And then for height, you have to type. 100 and then tap this bx change this to vh okay so 100 width and then the height 100 vh you could also add this 100 minus 50 vh but actually this one is optional you could just leave it with 100 vh okay and this is what it looks like so we have here the flex boxes and then what you're going to do next here is you can just basically add pictures and images that you want so before we add pictures we have to add rows first and then after that what you're going to do next is you have to tap each row and then for the height you have to change this to 100 vh and for the second row you have to change this to 100 vh2 for the height so again you have to make sure that the first row has this 100 vh and also the second row has this 100 vh now if you have three rows because i we have added flex boxes and you can see it's a three there 
So you can also add another row. So that should be three rows here. And then you can now add images after that. So for this tutorial, I just click add images. And then here I have added images from Wix gallery. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so once you have your images here, then what you're going to do next is you have to simply click the flex boxes and then go to layout and change in these two columns. Change the width to 300%, align to the left, go to gap, and then you have to make sure it's 0% right here. So basically, you can change the picture if you want. You can change this to video if you want. So for this time, what you're going to do is you have to click flex boxes. Okay, so go to flex boxes. You have to click the pictures rather. So you have to scroll up. Anyways, you could also go directly to animation and effect. Tap this one right here. If you see flex boxes, click that one. If you can't, then you don't have to worry about it. You need to go up and then click the picture. Make sure you have tapped the flex boxes. Go to animation and effect. And then this time you have to look for move. Go to adjust animation. And then this time here you have to change this to 270. But actually it depends. Okay. So you just have to play with the settings here. For me, it's like 270. But if the result is different, then you can just play with the option right here. You can set this to 250. Because sometimes it depends on the dimension or the picture's um, size, something like that, or the video. So basically, you can just simply um, follow this one I'm showing you right now. And as you can see, if you go to preview, okay, you will see that sometimes uh, the result is kind of different because it depends also on the setting here. So if that thing of if that case happens, so you can go to edit side and you can just basically change the direction and the effect. You could also change the width of the picture, okay, and the height. So you just have to change the width, the height, so you see something like this. So don't mind with the effect, but this is how you do horizontal scrolling. So I have to change something here because I need to look for other result. So if you want to change something, again, you just have to click. Or click the image, go to flex boxes, then go to animation and effect, then look for move. You can also look for other effects if you want. But basically, this is how easy it is to do the horizontal scrolling here in Look Studio. So if you don't like this kind of you know effect or direction, you can just simply go back. So basically, that's it. Well, when it comes to the layout tools, you can choose, aside from Flexbox, you can choose other layout tools right here. But uh, the very, or the easiest way to create a horizontal scrolling is the Flexbox, like what I've showed you earlier. But basically, you can just add whatever you want here. Uh, make sure that the animation is working. And most of the cases, the animation that the editor use is the move in animation and effect. And all you have to do is to adjust animation. So basically, that's how easy it is to do a horizontal scrolling. In Wix Studio. So creating horizontal scrolling in Wix Studio can add a dynamic and visually engaging experience to your website, allowing content to scroll horizontally instead of the usual vertical scroll. Basically, that's it. And as a conclusion, by following the steps, you can create horizontal scrolling sections in Wix Studio to enhance your website design and offer visitors an engaging browsing experience. If you have found this video helpful, simply leave a like below or subscribe because it helps me reach more people. See you soon.